No, um, I heard a pundit, you know, one of those political and uh, uh, political pundits that we we hear so very much from, um, the other day say that um, <coughs> that class war is not American. And between that and uh, uh, Langston Hughes' poem I read a couple of days ago, um, got a couple of things rattling around in my head, and hope you'll bear with me while I uh, spool them out a little bit. Um, I was uh, born in Kentucky, um, but mostly raised in Michigan. And while living in Michigan, um, had occasion to travel extensively. I've, I've been to 45 uh, out of the lower 48, out of the uh, continental 48. Um, And I think uh, I've uh, kind of come into my own, uh, come into a, a fuller sense of my identity while in Georgia. Um, I've seen quite a bit of America. And uh, never, never been a fan of the tourist thing. I've never really done the tourist thing. Um, uh, all, of, uh, all of that traveling was, uh, uh, all of that traveling was uh, related either to my father's work or, or my own interests and um, the uh, the places that you just have to see, um, I make it a point to not see because I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in um, I'm not interested in uh, the Empire State Building. I'm interested in the place that my cabbie swears is the best pizza in New York. You know, that's that's what I'm interested in. <coughs> I don't know what America is, but I. I can start by saying what it's not. America is not its GDP or its GNP. America, Americans um, do not live in the kind of wealth and uh, opulence that one would expect looking at uh, comparing our uh, our GNP versus the GNP of uh, of another state and comparing lifestyles. You know, our our GNP is not us, and it's not our lives. America is incredibly diverse. Um, in incredibly diverse. Uh, the differences in, in regional culture, uh, everything from um, you know, obvious things like food and accent, but um, musical preferences, uh, the voices of local authors, incredibly diverse. Um, America is not lazy. It's not. I know it's, it's a popular thing to say. It's an easy thing to say, but it's not true in my experience. Um, most Americans that I know work inordinately hard and inordinately long hours. Most Americans are not genuinely stupid. They may be misguided they may be misinformed. Um, and certainly there are quite a few of us that are far more invested in the story of what our lives are supposed to be than in what our lives actually are. Many of us are far more receptive to being told what to want than figuring it out for ourselves. But I think to some degree that's just a human thing. America is a nation with very few social safety nets. <clears throat> and I think I find that to be reflected um, within the American psyche. We are terrified of poverty. In many ways, 
people regard getting broke, being broke, um, as a form of death. And at the very least, um, at the very uh, at the very least, uh, certainly, an indication of profound personal failure. America is a country that imprisons its population in greater disproportion than just about anywhere else. And our prison populations have very predictable demographics. Um, the <laughs> proof positive predictive factor is poverty. America has rising um, rates of malnutrition, that being um, uh, poor nutrition, uh, uh, poor nutrition leading to um, medical complications or possibly even death. Um, rising rates of malnutrition uh, comparable to a third world country. And frankly, our health care statistics are also those of a third world country. America is the country for which the term food desert was invented. A food desert is a region wherein healthy, life-sustaining, and health-sustaining food is simply not available. Detroit is a good example of a food desert. Um, Detroit has no grocery stores. None. Um, imagine a Kroger or a Publix or what, whatever it is you, you have uh, down the block. None. Most people do their uh, most people do their uh, grocery shopping in convenience marts, um, quick stop stores, storefront, um, kind of uh, miniature um, uh, miniature stores. But um, an independent study uh, trying to evaluate the availability of um, sustainable nutrition within uh, within the city limits um, indicated that. Uh, uh, it really can't be done. You can sustain life. Health is another question. America is the nation that, well, the nation in which the idea of debt as a saleable commodity was invented. that one could sell the debt of other persons and turn uh, and uh, turn a profit thereby and consumer debt is one of the cornerstones of our economy uh, the reason that the real estate crisis was a crisis and a global crisis is the degree to which we have built our economy around the resale of personal debt. Now, I hear someone say, America, class war is not American. And the first thought that comes to mind from that, and from these facts and others, is Let's say that that's so. Let's say the class war is not American. If that is the case, the only conclusion that I can draw is that America is occupied territory and occupied by a force hostile to the nation and its citizens. 